The first section after the login we are redirected to is products. So let's start with the products. Again, admin pages and open a products.php file. Obviously we are using our static get param method, which doesn't exist anymore. So we need to convert it obviously to our new one, which will be this object URL and a method get, and then obviously parameter stays the same as action. So we can now save the file and close it. Now we go to the products directory and we need to amend uh, most of these files basically. So we start with the list, which is the first one. If we open that file, as you can see, again, we're using URL get param from the URL, uh, which is SRCH. Uh, we're going to use slightly different approach. Uh, and the way we're going to do it, we're going to make our form posting rather than sending a get through the URL. And then once the post has been received, what's going to happen is we're going to redirect the user back to the same page and paste the uh, searching criteria in the URL so that we've got everything static basically rather than having again question mark something equals something. So to start with what we're going to do, we're going to remove this one. We're going to amend these lines a little bit later on. So first we check if is set post and we're looking for the same uh, variable name. So it's S R C H. Then we're going to do something else, we're going to simply display the page. So obviously that now that we have this else statement, if we scroll right to the bottom after the closing template uh, includes template, obviously we need to close this uh, curly bracket. And by the way, we can remove this template from here, leaving just footer.php. Now scroll up and also do the same with the header, which is great. And let's go up a little bit more, back to this uh, is set section and now we check if is an empty post SRCH. This is when we actually want to do something else. We're going to do something else, but the URL is basically be going to be slightly different because we want the URL is exactly what we're going to be doing here, actually creating the URL. So URL variable, this object URL and get current removing SRCH. So we get the current URL minus this specific parameter, then we add this parameter SRCH with the new value. Let's put this dot on a new because we're still concatenating here. Obviously in PHP it doesn't matter if you've got space or not, as long as it's one string, obviously concatenating with a dot or whatever, uh, we're concatenating with a dot, not whatever really. But uh, if you're concatenating, if you've got space, it doesn't really matter. So URL and code, and then we go for strip slashes. And inside of this, we're going to pass our uh, parameter. So S R C H sent with uh, using the post. So that's when the post wasn't empty. So someone typed in the search criteria and submitted the form. Now, otherwise, if the submit form didn't have any value, if this S R C H field didn't pass any value, then this object URL get current and we clear the SRCH, any existing SRCH, meaning that obviously we get all of the records. So we're not going to be filtering by any criteria. Then helper redirect, and where we want to redirect to our newly created URL. So that's when obviously someone submits the form. We need to obviously amend the form to make sure that it's sending using post. So if we scroll down rather than method get, now it's going to be post and uh, that's, nearly everything. We're going to work with this echo statement here in just a minute, uh, but that's, that's it for this video.